after using this tool, people will think that you are making use of makeup all the time. Everybody will be wondering what you are using on your face. Why is your face spotless? Why is your face so naturally beautiful? Hello everyone, yeah, welcome back. So, like the title says, I'm going to show you what to combine with these two. Yes, of course. It's not only these two I'll be using. I'll be missing other ingredients you can find right in your kitchen to make you achieve best skin, to make your skin to glow, to make your skin naturally beautiful and looking younger day by day. So in case you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. My name is Pamela. I share beauty tips and health tips on this channel. Consider subscribing if you love beauty tips like this. Also like and share this video. Let's go. So the first ingredient you should think of when it comes to dark spots, when it comes to blemishes, when it comes to pigmentation is lemon. Lemon juice. Lemon juice is very natural. It has loads of vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that will help to delay signs of aging in a natural way. Also, very brightening. It helps to brighten and fade away old marks, dark marks, clear out those blemishes if you are consistent. I will also tell you when to make use of this so that for best result, of course. Also, lemon juice or any other citrus fruit like orange helps greatly to minimize the appearance of old scars and also to treat acne. If you have pimples, acne, it helps greatly to shrink it until they are not visible anymore. Another thing I love about it is that it makes skin to glow naturally and beautiful. Then here is turmeric. Turmeric powder is one ingredient that contains antioxidant just like some other ingredients of course so turmeric i don't miss i love it a lot it has to slow down aging process it has to fade away old marks like dark spots unifies the complexion and make your skin even some persons they don't have even skin tone so you can make use of it to balance your skin tone some persons their body is darker than their face making them to appear looking somehow as if their face is bleaching. Why some people naturally, their body is lighter, why their face is very dark. In that case, you can apply turmeric, especially this treatment on your face or on your body to balance it. You apply all over your body. Only turmeric alone, make a mask with it. Apply only on your body so that you can balance and look uniform. If your face is darker, apply only on your face and so on. The next one is rice powder. So rice flour or rice powder is very, very exfoliating. Exfoliating your skin to get rid of dead skin cells that makes your skin looking dull, old looking, looking rough. Especially after giving birth, after delivering, you see your skin, hormone and all that playing so many roles, making your skin to look not glowing at all. You can use this treatment to exfoliate your skin and the result will give you a brighter skin, uniform skin that will glow. So adding rice powder in this treatment will make other ingredients to start working very well. Rose water. So rose water is actually very good. Like it helps to balance skin pH, making your skin to look so beautiful, naturally glowing and also you can use it to mix these ingredients as you can see the only liquid ingredients we have in this treatment is lemon juice but you need rose water to mix just a little to make it form a smooth paste i will tell you the measurement of the ingredients so that it can you can achieve best results if you have oily skin you can use rose water as a toner to balance it to reduce so much oil on your skin if you have dry skin Tends with good is very hydrating, helping to balance skin pH. Very good for everyone. So, how to measure these ingredients? So, look at the remedy. You can see that there's turmeric in it, and you can also see that the turmeric is not so yellow, and that is because I added rice powder. So, what I did, I added one tablespoon of rice powder. You can get rice powder from the supermarket. You can also make it yourself by getting your rice grain, wash it to remove dust, dry it, and grind it into a fine powder. And that is your rice powder. Use it to take care of your skin. Even when you are making use of skincare products, lotion, soap, you will need this to treat just like a foundation to repair your skin before skincare products will start working for you. So I added half tablespoon of turmeric powder. So if you need to brighten more or you want to correct those pores further, 
please increase the quantity to how you want it of turmeric like i said earlier lemon juice is lightening or you can call it brightening add one tablespoon of it so the more quantity of other ingredients the more you will increase this i added one tablespoon of lemon juice then i mixed before adding this if you mix your treatment and it's still thick please go on and add drop by drop of rose water do not use ordinary water use rose water any type of rose water this is a plain rose water as you can see there's no glycerin the ones always sold out there glycerin content in it which i don't like because glycerin is not for everybody of course though it's very good so add rose water mixed together until it form a smooth paste so after adding them rightly like i said if you want to increase the quantity you want to apply on your body that means that your body needs more of this so increase all the ingredients and mix together to form a paste like this not watery and not so thick so you have to wash off makeups and that you know you have to clean off all oils use a gentle soap or a cleanser to remove all dust and residues of oil before applying this so that it's going to penetrate and work better so i'll just go right now to apply okay this is not only for dark spots if you have dark spots you want to treat only dark spots for those that are dark skin they don't want to lighten other parts of their body please just touch only on those dark spots please like this only on those dark spots only on those dark spots and leave it on for some time i will tell you when to wash it off so if you want to just unify your complexion or your face is darker than the rest of your body all you have to do is just to apply all over your face and leave it on so i'll just go on and apply all over my face all right so i'll just leave it on for some time wash it out i'll leave it on for about 15 20 minutes and that is because i want to make my face uniform and also to glow my face you can see i don't have dark spots but i use it to make my skin glow so in case you're applying it all over your body please go to the bathroom just wet your body a little apply all over leave it on for some time and some people may not have the time but i prefer you leave it on for five to ten minutes on your face you can leave it on longer all right so do this three times weekly for best results i'm going to rinse it out i'll come back soon and tell you the next thing to do of course i'll show you how to make it of vaseline i'll be right back yeah i am so i just wash it out and uh after washing it out, you will notice that your skin will be glowing. And that is how it is. Imagine you applying it three times weekly. You will surely glow. Of course, your face will glow. People will think that you are using makeup. When you go out there with no makeup, your skin will look so naturally flawless. Like, be consistent to get perfect results. If you watch my old videos in the past, you will see that my skin has really improved. I'm not using filters. I don't use filters. Many people that have seen me, like some of my viewers that have seen me in person, they have seen that my skin is just natural. I know sometimes the light we use can add an effect, but just use this treatment. You thank me later. So be consistent to get perfect results, okay? I'm introducing Vaseline for those that have dry skin because after making use of a facial mask, some people's face will be dried out, of course. And that is because you just treated your skin. What you have to do if you have a dry skin, use Vaseline. It's very, very good. I love it. I always apply it on my lip to keep my lip soft and not dried out. Then I don't really apply it on the face because my skin is naturally oily. But I will just do so because of this video. But if you have a dry skin, please go on. You will love Vaseline. Your face will be so smooth. Your face will be so hydrated and younger. I love it a lot. So in case you don't have a dry skin, you just want to hydrate your skin after using this. Please, there are so many oils you can use. We have sunflower oil. Like me, that I have oily skin. I use sunflower oil. Very penetrating and light. 
rose hip oil is also very good and also uh, vitamin e oil if you have a dry skin you can also make use of these oils that i just mentioned go on and make use of this treatment three times weekly thank me later thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe share and like this video i will see you in my next video